What is going on, guys? Welcome back to yet another edition of Pantherology, Panther Nation Pantherologist. We are in day six of training camp. Today was the sixth day. Uh, a very interesting day, to say the least. Um, not so sure how I feel about it, to be honest. But I'm going to give you my updates today. Uh, as always, my name is Clay, and I just try to put out Carolina Panther content as much as humanly possible. Uh, we'll do some more NFL content and takes as we get closer into the season, probably into the season more. And yeah, as always, pound the f out of that like button, baby. Pound the subscribe button, comment down below, and click that post notifications bell so you don't miss out on any new videos. Go check me out on the Newsbreak app. Link is down in the description down below here. And yeah, that's it. Let's just go ahead and dive into today's video. Now the Carolina Panthers arrived at work today with, I think, a different mindset. This was their first full padded session of the season and the players, I think, responded with much enthusiasm. So all of that additional contact, though, uh, came at a hefty cost. So in August, Spartanburg is about as hot as it gets in the United States, okay? With today, though, it was a much cooler, cloudier forecast today. The players will, were able to kind of escape from that terrible heat. Coach Matt Rule Mark, though, as he walked into practice today saying that he was hoping that it would rain because there is nothing better than playing football in the rain. So the Panthers got a taste of true autumn football and the tended uh, hazards. So thanks to the weather and the arrival of the pads. But after being carried off the field on a stretcher following a severe collision with receiver Keith Kirkwood's conditions seem to be not so good. Not really sure how bad it was, but Kirkwood was hit from behind by safety JT Ibby, who was immediately ejected from the game and later waived, which should have which should have been done, and I'm glad they set an example. Now, Kirkwood was soon stabilized by sports. Uh, training and medical personnel who placed him on a backboard and transported him to a nearby ambulance. But come to find out, just an update not too long ago before I made this video, he's back on campus and I, he, I'm he i pretty sure they have diagnosed him with a concussion. But Panthers head coach Matt Rule did say that Kirkwood had mobility in his limbs, no pain in his neck area, and that the indicators he received immediately after practice were very favorable so Kirkwood only appeared in one game last season due to repeated collarbone issues um, and that resulted from his time at Temple he was one of uh, Matt Rule's wide receivers at Temple when Matt Rule was the coach there so there was no uh there was not much uh, updates on Kirkwood's status, except that he's back on campus now and he has a concussion. So when Kirkwood collided with the ground and the drill came to a halt, there was about a 12 minute pause before they continued. So Rule went to a number of the players and to ask what the next steps should be. and. While they were visibly rattled by what they just witnessed, they persisted. Um, which, Ibby's quick release, the Panthers definitely made a strong message about the issue, which I'm glad they did. So, before the deal was submitted, Rule stated that he wanted to ensure that the players kept each other safe above all else. We are just in practice, guys, and this is training camp. There's no reason why we should be laying big hits on any of our players, especially your own teammates, all right? Now, Kirkwood was not the only player that was removed from the game on Tuesday. Uh, backup run, uh, running back Darius Clark was carried off the field after speaking with medical personnel, but there was no word on his health. Now, the Kirkwood incident you know, mirrored the team's first practice in pads um, of the season. Rule stated that he believed the work before was 
before and after was fine, but that it was difficult to make too many conclusions from the early work. Now, linebacker Shaq Thompson and cornerback A.J. Bouye were both wearing red uh, jerseys on the field Tuesday morning. So following a poor showing by the quarterbacks on Monday, the Panthers altered their quarterback rotation, right? P.J. Walker, who's usually been Sam Donald's primary backup, has gotten all of the second team repetitions so far in camp. But today was different. The third stringer, Will Greer, who got to run, got to run with the twos today. Now, Walker threw an interception that J.C. Horn picked up uh, yesterday. And while Darnold was intercepted twice. So, a little rotation there with the quarterbacks. Tied in, Ian Thomas, we all know, is under the same kind of pressure to produce as any other Carolina play- player this season, right? The good news is, is that he's been getting a lot of attention, and not on his first team drill session. Uh, he grabbed a ball from Darnold for a first down, so that was great to see and hear. Since being picked, Thomas out, you know, output has been unimpressive to be honest so to maintain his position on the roster i think he'll need to show that he can regularly contribute in the passing game guys i hope you enjoyed today's video that is your training camp day six update for the carolina panthers and before i leave you as always y'all know what to do keep pounding